Uh, I'm pretty nervous, I'm not going to lie. Ready? Go, 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 go! Come on, Sam! Come on! Riders, welcome to Sands Bikes. We're in Poland. I'm with Ben Moore, fellow Schwabi and Quadlock rider. Ben, what are we doing in Poland? I'm going to take on all these uh, fantastic bike riders here. Race an urban downhill track, and it's about a one minute track, so there is no margin for error whatsoever. You have to have the perfect run. That is crazy because Ben rang me up about, I would say, like five days ago. And he yeah. said, do you want to do an urban downhill race? And I had this crazy idea that I wanted to show how versatile the Kinevo SL is. So I said, yes, why not? He said it was easy. Riders, I just did my first downhill, my first practice run. I went 50-50, what, 12 meter double? Yeah, it's a big, no, I think 15 meter. Biggest doubles I've done in my life. Insta360 is gonna make it small, look small, but it's massive. And riders, check it out, that's the bike. So we are on the Kinevo SL, obviously with the Magic Marys and inside here you can see there's no bolt here so there's no battery in the down tube still got the motor obviously and i'm racing it in a downhill actually we're doing urban downhill today and a downhill race on tuesday so right let's go check the practice and the race run and hopefully i make it out alive no crashing uh i'm pretty nervous i'm not gonna lie okay let's go smooth steady calculated first one's done and then we can chill okay all right let's go Okay, practice is over, not gonna lie. I was pretty damn scared. I did 15 meter doubles three times. First time, wrong gear, almost died. Kinevo held up nicely. Second time, almost kind of died again. Got it better. Third time, launched it, screamed, and made it over. I'm here with Ben Moore, the crazy guy that has convinced me to go on this ride. Now Ben, give us some accolades and give us some, uh, cause riders out there, I'm gonna say, plug for Ben, he set up his YouTube channel. He's a legend, super nice guy, amazing rider. Follow him. Now, give me some advice and tell me, first of all, who is Ben Moore and, uh, and what should I do with the race? Okay, so for those who don't know who I am, I'm Ben Moore. I'm factory rider for Orange Bikes. I've been riding full time for seven, eight years now. I'm getting on a bit. Not as old as this guy, but I'm, uh, I'm getting on a bit. Hang on. I am the oldest rider in the category, Master 30. And so Ben obviously knows what he's talking about. What's your best couple of wins? Oh man, oh, I've had a few. So probably Singapore, uh, winning the urban downhill there and Frankfurt downwall race. That was the day after my 27th birthday, which was quite special for me. I didn't expect to win it. And I just put everything into the race run. And for someone that raced downhill twice in his life, never urban, and that was 22 years ago, what advice would you have? Keep it clean and be patient. I think patience is the key on something like this. Is It's a very short track, so it kind of sounds counterintuitive to say be patient, wait for it to come, wait for it to come, when really you've got to go as hard as you can from the start to finish. However, the start on this track is probably one of the most, uh, one of the biggest areas that you could go wrong. So be patient on there, get your jump done cleanly, focus on that. Once that's done, then start to think about laying down some power, trying to get your sprints in, go from there. I'm not gonna lie, we are in Poland. All I'm looking forward to really is getting down safe and then having some Polish beers. So Ben, let's go buddy. <laughs> let's Good, do luck. It, Good luck. Good luck. Ready? 
Ready? Come on, Sam. Come on. No talking for Sambo, he is happy to survive. Oh. Oh, on the juice there. I'm not gonna lie, right? That is the scariest thing I have done for a very long time. 42 years of age, not using age as an excuse, but I'm definitely the oldest guy by 10 years here. I'm so happy to get down, riders, to be honest. Like, that first jump was like 15 meters. I only jumped it four times. I actually only jumped it well on the third jump in my race. I undershot, cased it hard, hurt my foot, my right foot a little bit. But I'm stoked I did it. Do something that scares you every day and that scared the crap out of me. Now we're gonna watch Ben's run and then we're gonna go have a beer. So that's the end of the urban downhill. It's actually the next day. We're about to go for practice for the downhill. I am so happy that I actually did it. And Ben, thanks for really helping out there, man. Like, Good work. 42, jumped 13 meter doubles. What kind of jumped it? You would have seen in the footage, not so well. And Ben came third. But I think he should have won it. I think he got robbed. What was it? Less than a second between one, two, and three? Yeah, five tenths on the five tenths separated everyone on the podium. So yeah. super tight, but that's urban racing and that's why I love it. Yeah, yeah, it was good. And uh, I think I'll do another one. Maybe one a little bit harder. This was quite easy. He's got the buzz, isn't he? He's got the buzz for it. <laughs> thanks, Ben, and thanks, riders, for watching. I hope you like this style of video. Very different to what I normally do. But I want to change it up a little bit because I want to do some bit more racing this year. I am getting a little bit excited. I need to get a bit fitter, but who is going to come and do the EWS with me in finale? Let me know, riders. I'll see you soon.